ladies and gentlemen i'm back again with another video and i appreciate you for tuning in to see this one my name is lillian and this video i feel like this video is the right thing to do because i have talked about so many things on my channel i have criticized the attitude of some of my countrymen and women especially on youtube here and i have done these videos upon videos i have outlined so many things and put it out here so that people will understand that being a nigerian does not really mean you are you know what a lot of people may have known us to be it could be a nice thing and just basically that and i've done so by basically blaming my people when they are at fault and i have made tons of videos here talking about other nigerians that that finds ghana to be an amazing place i've done a couple of videos talking about people that are new in ghana from nigeria that are talking highly of ghana that are finding incredible things in ghana that feels like ghana is amazing i have done all these videos this is not because of anything this is me trying my own little best to encourage what i think could be peace and calm especially on social media between the ghanaian and nigerian social media space so and i've done so but I feel like, so when you are telling people not to do this, there should be something that you should tell them to do, at least. It's not everyone that would do it because, of course, I am not a saint myself. But I feel like there are things that we can do to promote this peace. I feel like when you acknowledge the wrong of your loved ones, it will bring a kind of comfort and sort of justice to whoever they may have offended you know through their attitude or something so i did all of this not because i hate nigerians no but of course i'm not here to convince everyone but i feel like i should put something in place that a lot of people may find something like a guard to work with if you're coming to ghana and that is why this video is first i'm going to start with if you're coming to ghana you are highly welcome. You may have read in papers and all that that Ghana is English speaking country. That is not a lie. That is very true. But when you come to Ghana, there is tendency that the first 10 people that you may meet and have a conversation with, especially if they are the one that initiate that conversation, uh, out of the 10 people, you're definitely going to meet about eight of them that will start the conversation in the local dialect popularly known as tree which is the most spoken in ghana they have other tribes in ghana okay they have so many tribes in ghana but i'm talking about the ones that are commonly used among Ghanaians. For me, I understand that there are places in Ghana where Chui is not even spoken at all and the indigenous of these places do not understand the Chui language. Just a selected numbers of persons that understands the language. All right. However, if you are in Accra, Kumasi, a place like Takrade, you may come across, you know, people speaking tree with you all you have to do is to politely say i do not understand what you are saying i do not understand tree or if you cannot say tree because myself i don't think i'm pronouncing it correctly but if you cannot pronounce it just maybe like me or the right way just say i don't understand the language i don't know what you're saying please can you speak english trust me seven out of the eight persons if not all the eight persons that have you know approached you with the language all of them eight of these persons speaks english they are automatically going to switch and speak the language with you the jovia one i mean and speak english with you the jovia ones among them will ask you ah so if you don't understand the language me too i don't understand english all right and then you guys to start the conversation it will ask you oh, oh you don't speak are you where are you from that's up to you if you want to explain where you are from or you don't want to be friendly nobody holds you accountable for that nobody you hold nobody that aspect in ghana so that is number one i'm saying this because of the language barrier so in case you are being spoken to in three don't take it like oh why 
didn't they say Ghana is an English speaking country? So why are they not speaking? Politely just say I don't understand and watch how that person switched to English in Ghana. I am still learning and trust me, I finally learned recently. I recently learned that the reason I greet elderly people and they tend to not they tend to not respond to me, they tend to act like they didn't hear. It's not because I didn't hear, but I find it to be a bit disrespectful for me to just greet. I mean, for a younger person to just say, good afternoon. Even if I add my insight, they pay attention to the first word, which is good afternoon. So I had to learn this when I went to Obo in Kweewu. So I realized that anyone I greeted wasn't responding as much as I want them to especially the elderly people so i re i tried to observe the person i went there with i realized that the two people i was with were saying pacho and the one that don't speak tree was saying please before she says her greetings all right so i had to quickly switch and trust me since that date now my life has changed in the way i deal with elderly people in my environment here in ghana so it took me a while to know that using please is not just a fancy way of you know people trying to look overly nice or humble it is a sign of respect it doesn't mean anything myself when you see me in nigeria in some part of nigeria you won't believe that is this me because i would do ballet when i want to greet an elderly person in the yoruba land i will kneel down yes ma yes ma and that is why if you know me one-on-one -on -one, i refer to so many people as ma and sa funny enough my own culture where i come from in nigeria a tiny tribe at the south south part of nigeria we do not have ways of greeting elderly people we just simply greet them and in some cases elderly people greet young people so we have our own respect is when you have a conversation with an elderly person and you speak to them rudely that is when they will be like oh am i your mate in the absence of that we don't really have how you talk to elderly people differently from how you talk to younger people and if you are brought up in such a culture if you're coming to the western part of nigeria you may struggle all right so i'm saying this because i want you to understand that it's not only in ghana and this can also be applicable to ghanaians that are looking to visit nigeria especially lagos and it's you know lagos is in the west especially the south west part of nigeria respect in ghana and respect in nigeria is not the same in ghana just tell an elderly person please ma just don't add ma don't worry about ma in ghana you can just say please good morning it's okay like that elderly person will value it and appreciate it if you can speak the local dialect you can just patch your good morning if you cannot say that just say please good morning to an elderly person of course no Ghanaian is going to come beat you for not saying please or right, i'm just saying this so that we understand what i mean like our respect how it differs from each other just play along with your environment that is that in ghana there are things that Ghanaians don't like you know in nigeria you can easily just walk past someone that is you know you barely met that person you just you, you guys are new to each other you can just meet someone and you like each other you can just ah look at you after you you know whatever draws you together to make you have a conversation that minute you can start saying things like this ah look at your head ah your head no correct you know you can just say i go slap you you can make jokes to a nigerian you can say so many things that you want even though they sound insultive we understand our jokes in ghana the case is not the same it takes someone that knows you very well deeply to do all that with you but you can't just randomly tell people ah it'd be like say you they mad you know it'd be like say you they crazy you know this verbal assault verbal assault verbal abuse in ghana is is a no 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 matter if you think you are joking about it don't use it just don't basically don't don't use it i have ghanaian friends even here on 
YouTube here. When they come here and they will tell me, look at your face, look at your this, they insult me. I give them back if I want. We just insult each other and we laugh. We insult each other and we laugh and move past there. But I can't take that jokes to my neighbor because they are not familiar with that culture. So if you are expecting all of that, the way you flow in Nigeria, ah, Mumu, you bring it here, it's going to make you struggle and you will start to think that Ghanaians hate you. And that is going to give you a kind of vibes. Trust me. And you do not want that. Okay. I don't want, I'm saying this because it feels like when you are new in Ghana, you struggle so much as a Nigerian. Even though in Nigeria, we don't have the same culture that you say, okay, this is a guard to how this is a national behavior. We don't. I know how we struggle, especially those of us from the, the South South and people from the Southeast. When you go to the Southwest, you struggle. This is because of the cultural difference. Mm. But we have been blending. We have been, over the years, we've struggled, blend and all that. So you can do the same in Ghana. Don't expect too much. Before a Ghanaian will trust you, completely takes a while unlike we in nigeria before now you can walk up to anybody and tell them ma i'm homeless the person will accommodate you yeah i have been accommodated before by a lady who met me in a vehicle on my way to sunyani here in ghana but that is a rare case and i took the offer even though it's a kind of irresponsible behavior right it's wrong have you thought of maybe you go to sleep in the same apartment with that person and you wake up in the morning, something is wrong? Because see, see this life, nobody has a calendar of how their life will go and how it will end. What if for any reasons she does not know that I have some, something that I'm dealing with? Come on, some people don't even fall sick before they die. What if there's something I'm dealing with or maybe she is dealing with something or she, one of us end up having food poisoning because that night when we got to Sunyani, I remember I was going to how to eat outside. So what if we have eaten and we had food poisoning, one of us dies that night. I'm going to wake up in the morning. Maybe she dies. I am waking up in the morning and I'm in the news. I mean, I am a Nigerian and already some of our people have given us this reputation. So just imagine before people will hear me out, before my subscribers that strongly believe they are convinced by my personality, by my person, come out to say, oh, we know this lady. She, she's not capable of doing that. Or I will, be, I, I will be awaiting trials to either be acquainted or to be sentenced. Do you understand? It's a careless thing that I did and I don't ever want to do it again. So if you are coming with that mentality ah even a nigeria they go help me now nah. then the person go keep me for a house no don't come with it okay Ghanaians are very kind-hearted but they're a little bit slow to do it because of what people are thinking what if they're thinking of the possibility of the things that we can't we can't see with our eyes what if this happens <laughs> so if they are slow don't worry it's just a matter of time you are not even just be doing your things do your things they will judge if they want to associate with you or not yeah if you are stranded in ghana you don't have anybody you don't know where to go go to a church or you go to the police station these two places even myself in nigeria i always say that if i'm stranded and i don't have anyone to help me i'll go to the police station i have offered to help someone before in nigeria but thank God, at the dying minutes, she got a phone call and she didn't make it to my place. Yeah, I would, I would have carelessly taken this lady home and to say, eh, what happened? She go die from her house. So when you come to Ghana, be slow. For me, before now, I used to have, my temper used to be very fast. Do you understand? My temper used to be hot. Small time, I feel they slap you. I know they fear fights. I'm not a troublemaker. But I really don't like injustice in my life so i have you know i always want to be i i like to stand up for myself but do you know that since i came to ghana you know past mouth i only use my mouth to say things that i don't like getting physical i can't even remember how it feels like 
to get physical with someone. I am afraid of it. All of a sudden, me, I'm afraid of fights. Before now, I really fear fight. Even though I never start, I can never start it. But when you bring it on, I'm available for it. But do you know that right now, if you bring it fight, physical fight on, you won't see me. I would rather opt for the option of the police to be involved than for me to fight two factors. Yeah, maybe it's due to age. Difference from what I used to be, I was a lot younger back then, but right now I'm no longer a baby. And of course, my environment have really made it easy for me to just blend without wanting to physically combat with anybody. As a Nigerian, whatever have made you leave Nigeria, if it is just changing of environment or you are jackpotting or you just have it in mind that you want to live in Ghana, which is not a bad thing. Please be respectful when you get here. Just some of these things. These things I have told you. Don't do don't do them. Don't use verbal, you know, harsh words like they crazy, they mad. They, you know. Every Ghanaian is going to look at you if it's in a public place, like it's wet to them. Alright? It doesn't mean that they are looking at you because you are speaking the Nigerian pigeon. Oh, of course, when you speak the Nigerian pigeon, Ghanaians will turn and look at you. The same way we do back at home. When we hear Ghanaians speaking their own pigeon, which I've never heard in Nigeria, but I know exists. You likely want to turn and look at them because it's not the regular one you've been hearing. But in any ways, it means nothing. However, you do not and you do not have to respect Ghanaians by saying, please, ma, please, sir, or please, this, please. At least don't open your camera, sit down and insult them. Another thing you should not do if you want to enjoy living in Ghana, please stay off the political affairs, including criticizing the government in power or past government. Do not do it. Leave it for Ghanaians to sort out. SS complain. I hear some people can go as far as saying, hey, hey you know, back at home now, we know how we used to say it. This is a country. Nigeria is a country. Nigeria is a country. Do you understand? You know the ring to Nabi. I don't want to use that here. No, please, in Ghana, if you go to buy something and it's too expensive, my brother, walk away or buy the one that you can buy don't go and say ah fuel now like this one they say fuel for here which kind of country is this ghana is a little country you know the ringtone don't use it see in ghana a ghanaian can tolerate you insulting him or her say look at you you are a mumu man for instance but a ghanaian cannot stand it when you are saying ghana is a little country I'm not going to use my mouth to come. You know the ring to now. Do your research. That word, that, that slogan most Nigerians use for the country. Nigeria is a little... No do one for Ghana. If you want to do your YouTube videos promoting Nigeria, do it. There are a lot of big YouTubers that are living in Ghana. And they are content are not based on Ghana. All right. They, they, some of them built their YouTube channels before they came to Ghana. Some of them basically stays in Ghana and do their YouTube videos. All right. So do not be disrespectful and you will enjoy your stay in Ghana. I hope that this video is helpful and that I will see you in my next.